Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martins here with your outlook for February 27th and 28th, 2016. Your weekend outlook. This starts off with a cooler Saturday. Not quite as cold as it was on Friday. Uh, not quite as windy as well. So it'll be a little bit more tolerable to be outside. And uh, that's due to high pressure being to our south here. The pressure gradient is not nearly uh, what it was on Friday. So those breezy conditions will go away. Uh, all in all, it will not be a bad day. Temperatures getting into... Generally, uh, from 40 to 45 from north to south across our coverage area. That will change in a big way here on Sunday. Sticking with the mostly th sunny theme this entire weekend, but uh, we're going to have a, a warm-up here. Let me go back a little bit. Uh, flow's going to come in here on, on uh, Sunday in from the southwest. You can see which way the isobars are pointed. They're kind of like going up in this direction here like this. This is going to allow for a warm-up uh, on Sunday, and it's going to get quite warm. We're going to have temperatures that are going to be well into the 50s, uh, close to 60 degrees down here by Philadelphia, Delaware, in interior South Jersey. So a uh, very nice day on Sunday. Again, mostly sunny skies, so a uh, good day to get out if you're going to uh, want to and open some windows, if, if you're uh, uh, feeling like letting get some uh, sp taste of spring into the house, get the germs out, whatever you want to do. Here is the uh, area of low pressure that's going to be moving to our north here. Uh, it's going to have an associated cold front with it. Now, it does have a little bit of precipitation out here in the Ohio Valley as it's moving eastward. And I do think uh, there'll be an opportunity for a very isolated chance at a shower, mainly in our far northern or northwestern areas. This will be a rain shower uh, early Monday morning. But look at the next frame here. Disappears as it, as it moves further southeast. So uh, not looking at anything further than that. I don't see anything beyond uh, western portions of our coverage area and also... Uh, up here in western portions of, of northeast PA. That's where we're looking at for, for that isolated shower most notably, but everywhere else should just be uh, should just be dry from that, a dry frontal passage. And then uh, we are going to cool down slightly, slightly uh, from what we were on uh, Sunday, but it's still going to be uh, quite mild, and that's going to last into Tuesday as well. So uh, part of the cloudy day both days, we're going to have increasing clouds here on Tuesday, system approaching from our southwest here along a gradient. The gradient is, looks like it's going to be a little bit too far north, however, and low pressure is going to track along that up in this direction, so that's going to mean we are going to stay all rain across our coverage area with this system. And there could be some uh, locally heavy rainfall if the GFS is correct. However, as a second trailing piece of energy comes in, this is the second one here. Uh, now we're looking at uh, looking at Wednesday here. Uh, still got periods of rain across our coverage area, but you see what's starting to do. This is the GFS starting to indicate some uh, wintry precipitation coming in and filtering in behind it here, as this system eventually goes off in this direction. Now this is the GFS depiction. Other models are not quite as aggressive. They have anything from just a frontal passage to uh, just some rain, and then the system lifts out rather quickly and doesn't have those two system look. Well, to keep an eye on this, the GFS has been hinting at this for a couple runs now. Uh, of course, this is the Friday night run here, but, uh, you know, a lot of things can change over the weekend. We'll just monitor it. We're not going with it. We're going with mostly a rain event for this. Uh, but, again, the GFS is suggesting that at the end here, we're going to have a change of snow that's going to go pretty far south here. Uh, again, this would be... Uh, Wednesday night if this occurred, and that's only if you had this too low structure and you had one coming off in a favorable track. Again, the GFS is kind of by itself on this right now at uh, the time the video was done here, but we'll keep an eye on this just in case. If this uh, scenario would play out, we'd have a rain chain into snow situation, maybe a couple inches in the back end if this were to work out. But this is not the one we're really uh, looking for. Uh, the one we're actually looking at as uh, doing, having better potential uh, would be on the, uh, f on the 4th or 5th. Uh, so we'll we'll watch that again next week. The models are all over the place with that one. Of course, the GFS doesn't have anything for that. So uh, a lot of different scenarios, different possibilities. But uh, we don't think winter is completely over yet. Having several shots a couple days apart, uh, like every third day or so, uh, and it's just going to depend if at times with this cold air coming in. We will have a cold shot coming in after the middle of next week once that storm passes, regardless, no matter what. Uh, model is correct. Even if it is all rain, we do have cold air coming in behind it that will set up anything trailing to be possibly snow. So we'll keep an idea, uh, keep an eye on that uh, this weekend, and we'll update that again when we do the next video on Sunday night for Monday, and with our local forecast, of course, at that time as well. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for the weekend, February 27th and 28th, 2016. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.